Hi, and welcome to Three Questions with my buddy Miguel Fernandez with us from Helping Hands Family Chiropractic. Hey, Miguel, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Kev. So, Miguel, it's been really challenging times, obviously, but the potential good news is you've been open the whole time helping people, though, right? Absolutely. We, 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 um, all chiropractors were considered essential during the whole, uh, whole ordeal, and uh, we've been servicing the patients that really need us. That way, they had no changes in their care plans. And uh, we were just here in the corner, just uh, acting as cheerleaders and sifting through some of the research that was coming out and sort of helping, you know, enlighten what was going on, especially with, with the, uh, you know, the differences in information that people were getting uh, about COVID-19 and what they can do to help themselves. Now, I would imagine, you know, um, times like this actually probably make all the aches and pains worse because of the extra stress. Yeah, stress is a is a big thing on the body. It, uh, it it changes the chemistry of your body. You begin producing stress hormones like cortisol, and cortisol has certain effects on the body. And uh, you know, people tend to they retain weight, um, blood pressure spikes. Uh, all in all, the, the stress is is definitely something that's detrimental to people's overall health. Plus, stress will suppress the immune system and make you more susceptible to getting sick. That's never a good thing. So Miguel, where are you located? We're located right on Merrimack Street. We're, we're at 817 Merrimack Street. It's a, uh, a medical office building. We have tons of parking in the back. Uh, the entrance is right there. And we're basically right down the block from the college. Yep. So Miguel, walk us through the process because a lot of times people are considering going to a chiropractor, but they just don't know what to expect. So talk to me a little bit about the process, um, the evaluation you do, because I think a lot of times people just associate, you know, hey, you know, I was in an accident, I fell down, I need to go to a chiropractor. And we kind of just accept the, the day in and day out pains and aches. So what happens when someone comes to your office? Walk us through the process. Well, the first thing we do is we take a little bit of information. Um, we, we give them a tablet so that they can input some, some basic information. And if, if some people want to actually do the intake at home, we can send uh, certain patients a link and they can fill out all their paperwork at home uh, on their phone or computer. And then it'll be ready when they show up. Then after that, we, we look through that information and then we sit down with a patient before we even examine them or anything, we talk to them. And we see whether or not that person really needs a chiropractor or any other type of service. Because chiropractors may not take care of everything, but we can help with some things. So we, we make sure that you know, we are the person they need to see. And then at that point, we keep going. We discuss whether or not they should have the exam. And if the exam is needed, we, we continue from there. And we'll do an exam based on what their needs are. If they came in with back pain, then we will look at their back pain, but we won't ignore everything else that's going on. Um, we look at the body as a whole. So we, we do a postural exam. We do orthopedic testing. If needed be, we'll send, you, send the patient for x-rays so that we can further evaluate you know, and, and grade and gauge the levels of deterioration or arthritis that may be occurring in their spine. And that helps us really determine how to help someone and how to actually fix any issues they've had in the past up till now. So now, Miguel, I would imagine the conversation is essential because I would think, you know, like, oh, and why are we talking, Miguel? I have this issue. Does that happen? Like a lot of like extra things kind of come out that may be causing it that we just didn't think about? Well, what happens is, is that during the conversation, what we may find out is they may have overlooked a slip and fall they had in their teens, or they, they might have had a, an old car accident they had when they were in, in you know, 11, 12 years old. And uh, I, I know that when, when I was younger, not everyone was in a car seat. <laughs> um, and, and the car seats faced a different direction. So it, it was, it's all of those little things that add up into what you're feeling now, some form of syndrome that you're feeling now. And it's, it's picking away those little things that add up to the big thing so that we can take care of somebody more efficiently. Perfect. Uh, Miguel, how can people reach out to you? How can they learn more, my friend? Well, they can, they can give us a call at 978-475-5500. Uh, 
452-4223. That's our, our main number. And or they can reach us online at HHF Chiropractic uh, dot com. I can't remember my own. <laughs> well, y'all, I appreciate you taking a few minutes to jump on the show with us. And as always, thanks for being my friend. Oh, thank you. You have a great day. You too.